Wake Forest fans actually tracked a plane flight from Tulsa, Oklahoma to Winston-Salem all day Wednesday. Why? They all knew the next head Demon Deacons basketball coach could be on board. And sure enough, the legendary Danny Manning is the man deciding to take over the task of rebuilding the Wake Forest program. I'm Jeff Michelle with this ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. He comes to the Deeks after two years at Tulsa, his only two years as a head coach, but they have to be considered a success. The Golden Hurricanes made it to the NCAA tournament this season after winning the Conference USA title. Manning, of course, is remembered as one of the great college basketball players of all time, leading a Kansas team nicknamed Danny and the Miracles to the 1988 National Championship. After his long pro playing career ended, he was an assistant for Bill Self at Kansas for several years. When Manning was hired at Tulsa, Self had this to say, quote, who wouldn't want their son to be mentored by a guy who has everything you want your son to be? Think about it, he graduated, won a national championship, and was the number one pick in the draft, an Olympian, two-time NBA All-Star, family man, has his priorities straight. Who wouldn't want their son mentored by a guy like that on a daily basis? Manning's work is cut out for him at Wake, taking over for Jeff Bizdelic. The program went 51 and 76 in Bizdelic's four years. The Deeks have not been to the NCAA tourney since 2010 and haven't been to a Sweet 16 in a decade. Now Manning will have Cody Miller McIntyre and Devin Thomas back, the Deeks' top two leading scorers this past season, as well as big man Tyler Cavanaugh and explosive forward Arno William Adalamoto. One other thing Manning has going for him, local ties. He actually went to high school in Greensboro. Again, Danny Manning, the new head coach at Wake Forest. I'm Jeff Fischel. This is the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.